Multi-Million Fandom, and today I'm going to be talking about the new episode of Attack on Titan, um, which, first off, was amazing. Um, the episode title, as we know, is called Midnight Sun, and it is part of, like, Season 3 and Episode 18. So, start off with the rating. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and begin with it. It was 5 out of 5 Titans. It was awesome. What I thought that was best about this episode, so the first thing that I feel like was the best thing about this episode was the chaos that we had going on between um, Levi, Aaron, and Mikasa. And the second best part I thought about the episode was just um, how serious the eyes of Aaron and Mikasa were. Like, they had some serial killer eyes, like, or the, like, I'm going to cut you, leave our eyes, and th this is making me sound excited, like, you know, kind of crazy that I'm excited for this, but hey, this, this is stuff we should be excited for, the, the craziness, um, ah, uh, like, I could just mm, eat that part up, um, you know, love me some drama, like, um, from anime, Oh, mmm, beautiful moment. Um, but, and also, like, the, another best part about this, I guess, Attack on Titan drama thing, was how much the characters care for Armin. If you see, so if you basically watch the episode, you pretty much see that, um, that Sasha, Connie, who else? Aaron and Mikasa. Okay. Yeah. And John. Like, you just see how much whenever they see Armin who was burnt alive, because he is somewhat alive. And so whenever they saw that he was, you know, burned like that, and then they saw that he became a Titan. And when they thought that, you know, he was going to die because they saw that it was Levi's decision with the Titan syringe to make a choice between do I save Erwin or do I save Arm with this Titan syringe to, like, which one do we revive with the Titan syringe that's close to dying? And, um, and then they, they were shocked because they saw Armin turn to a Titan and he were told. And so... Then you could see how, like, they cried so much whenever they, you know, held, I think they did, hot, like, hold him, tie an arm in, like, in their arms, like, they were crying, like, they were like, oh, like, I could see the tears in some of their eyes, and it was very shocking to see, because it's like they're becoming more, like, all these characters are becoming more emotional, like, even John was, like, looked like he was crying, and I was like, this is good stuff. We got we got some tears going on here. I, I loved it. But um, what's another point about this episode I want to talk about was the character development. So the character development, specifically with Levi, was amazing. Um, you know, just you see him like in a different state than what we're used to, because we're used to seeing calm Levi, but usually Levi is just like, all he's calm. Well, yeah, most of the time he's calm. And you see his breaking point where it looks like he's getting, see, uh, like, tired of people around him dying. Because we can tell through this episode and the previous episode, it's showing how much he cares about his, um, his soldiers. And, like, he's reaching the point where he's sick of it. He's like, okay, I'm sick of people dying. I'm done with this. Like, I'm, Irwin's not gonna die, like, that's what he, you know, was thinking, and to see his breaking point go from being calm, even, like, you know, the last time a whole bunch of his friends died, he was calm, and now he's becoming slowly, like, oh, like, he's like, oh, it's like, I can't deal with this anymore, and that was, it was so great to see that serious, the caring side, and see him reach his breaking point and his anger towards, you know, what human, well not humanity, but what the Titans 
are basically ruining everyone's life. That's basically what's happening. And Levi's sick of it. And I've had enough myself. Like, I think we've all had enough. So I can't wait till the next episode or when the series ends because we've had enough. Tanya. To the surprising moments of Attack on Titan, uh, Aaron possibly, like, Aaron, the fact that Aaron was possibly questioning his dad whether, you know, when the Beast Titan basically said, okay, you and me, Aaron, are both victims of your dad, and that's interesting to see where that's going to go. Um, the next surprising moment is the fact that the Beast Titan comes back to save Aaron. Um, wait, no, Beast Titan comes back, but he says, I'm going to come back for you, very interesting, and the third surprising, surprising thing was the fact that Levi decided to go for Armin. Obviously knowing that Levi cares more about Erwin because, or at least I think that, because Erwin was basically Levi's best friend. They were always together, but yeah, that was very intriguing. But yeah, like, um, bias opinion for me, I'm happy that Armin was chosen, you know, to become a titan. Because, um, it, I, I like Armin better, that's just all I'm going to say. I, we, I have more of a connection towards Armin than I do Erwin. And I think you guys do too, so it's interesting to see that. And I say that because there was this poll that was done, and it says prefer to turn into a titan. Um, and it said... Or when they're Armin, it was released yesterday, and a majority of people chose Armin. Well, we have more of a connection with him, so that's interesting to think about the parallels between us, the fan base, and how Ur and how Levi. I mean, Levi, how Levi feels about Erwin, and how Aaron and Mikasa feel about Armin. Like they all feel when they feel. They feel about serving, what I mean by that is like they feel about um, trying to make sure that their best friends stay alive or, you know, get revived. But yeah, but it was just kind of shocking um, to see that Armin was chosen. I mean, but at the same time it was also surprising because it brought some points that I forgot about. Because once you, like, you know, Attack on Titan doesn't come out as much. And sometimes you forget about the stuff that happens. And I really forgot how much Armin has came up with a plan. Actually, I would say more so than Erwin. Erwin has as well, but Armin has too. The thing about Erwin, and he's better with his speeches, Armin's better with coming up with the plan. So, yeah. I'm excited that Armin's a Titan. I'm excited that he's alive and he's going to be the new tactician. <clears throat> and even better, he's going to become an even better Erwin. And so, yeah, that's great. But, yeah, about predictions. I think the next episode's going to be calm. Um, and Armin's going to talk about, obviously, what he felt as a Titan. Um... And then probably another bonding moment. I know that sounds very... Like, I, anyone could predict that. But that's what I think is going to happen. But I feel like it's going to be kind of like... You know, Attack on Titan is like... War... Like, what is it? You know, after the storm, there's the calming. Um, the, I feel like Attack on Titan is like that. So I think that's going to happen. But yeah. Um... Thank you guys for listening to my opinions and discussions. If you guys would like to discuss anything, put some comments down because I could use some attack on time and friends, like real world friends. So yeah, put it down and you know, we'll discuss it, stuff like that. Even make your own video. But yeah, that's about it. I guess um don't forget to like or subscribe if you want to, please. Just but yeah, like or subscribe and all that stuff. Thank you for listening. Adios.